Hi, I'm James from Portainer, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can provision a Kubernetes cluster on Google Cloud with GKE directly from within Portainer. For this guide, I'm assuming you have Portainer Business Edition installed and running, and you're logged in as an admin user. If you haven't got Portainer installed yet, have a look at our install guide or documentation for help. Links are in the video description. First off, you'll need to sign up for an account with Google Cloud if you haven't already, which you can do at cloud.google.com. Once you've got that sorted, there's a bit of prep work you'll need to do with your Google Cloud account. First off, log into the Google Cloud console and go to the dashboard for your project. We'll need to ensure that the project is enabled for GKE. The easiest way to do this is to click on Kubernetes Engine in the left-hand menu. If the section loads and displays the ability to create a cluster, you're set up already. Otherwise, you'll be asked to enable the Kubernetes Engine API, do so. Then we'll need to create a service account. From the navigation menu, hover over IAM and Admin and click Service Accounts, then click Create Service Account. Fill in the service account details with a name, ID and description that makes sense to you, and click Create and Continue. In the Grant the Service Account Access to Project section, add the Compute Engine Service Agent and Kubernetes Engine Service Agent roles to the service account and click Continue. Then click Done to create the account. Next, we need to grab the private key for the service account in order to tell Portainer how to authenticate with it. In the navigation menu, go to Service Accounts, then click the service account you just created. Select the Keys tab and click Add Key, then Create New Key. Select JSON as the type and click Create. This will download a file containing the private key for the service account. Now switch back to Portainer. There's a couple of ways you can add your private key to Portainer, either on your first provision or ahead of time via the cloud settings. Since we're going to do a provision, we'll upload it while we do that. Just like adding any other environment to Portainer, click on Environments, then Add Environment. Select the CAS option, then click Start Wizard, then select the Google Cloud option. Since we haven't set up our credentials yet, we'll need to do that now. Enter a name for your credentials, then click the Upload File button and select the JSON private key you created earlier. Once it's uploaded, click Add Credentials. You'll now see options to configure your new cluster. Enter a name for your environment, select the region for your deployment, the size and disk space of each individual node and the number of nodes you need, the subnet for the cluster, and the Kubernetes version to deploy. You can also define groups and tags for the environment under More Settings, or you can set those later. When you're ready, click Provision Environment to start your deployment. Portainer is now talking to the Google Cloud API to spin up your cluster with your options. Depending on the size and number of nodes, this might take a bit of time. Once the provision is complete, Portainer will automatically deploy the agent to the environment and configure access. You can see the progress of the provision from the Environments page within Portainer. When the deployment finishes, you'll be able to select and manage your new Kubernetes environment just as you would any other environment in Portainer. And that's it, you're up and running with a brand new GKE Kubernetes cluster on Google Cloud, all through Portainer. You'll find these instructions in text form in our documentation. Thanks for watching.